Good morning from NASA's Johnson Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room on this Thursday morning, September 19th, 2013. A team of flight controllers uh, watching over systems aboard the International Space Station as uh, uh, this team has been on console since early this morning, uh, being led by Flight Director Mike Lammers. He is uh, joined on console by Leslie Ringo to his right, who is handling the communications link between this team and the crew on board uh, the International Space Station. Uh, that crew of Expedition 37 uh, is comprised of Commander Fyodor Yurchikin, along with uh, two flight engineers, Luca Parmitano from the European Space Agency, represented by the Italian Space Agency, and U.S. astronaut Karen Nyberg uh, from the United States. Obviously, uh, these two crew members, along with uh, Commander uh, Yurchikin from the Russian uh, uh, Space Agency, representing uh, Russia, of course, have been in space now for, uh, they're on their 114th day uh, aboard the International Space Station after their uh, single day launch to rendezvous uh, on, on their Soyuz spacecraft known as a TMA-09M vehicle back on May 28th. Uh, they plan to return home on November 10th after 166 days in space. They uh, have focused their attention uh, today on experiment work, uh, uh, focusing around the human research uh, facility of the station with blood and urine sample periodic taking along with some uh, additional ocular health uh, for the crew members and some ultrasound uh, uh, training for the crew members along with some data takes in support of uh, uh, the ongoing efforts to understand how the human body uh, reacts to the microgravity environment of space and changes over long duration periods of time. Uh, the crew members also uh, have performed some routine uh, housekeeping chores around the station and have also been updated on the uh, progress of a uh, new cargo vehicle on its way to the International Space Station. Orbital Sciences Cygnus spacecraft uh, launched um, just before 11 a.m. Eastern Time on uh, Wednesday on a uh, trajectory profile to the southeast that uh, puts it in line in the same plane, if you will, with the International Space Station. Uh, leading toward an arrival and uh, berthing to the complex's Harmony Nader port, the Earth-facing port on the Harmony node on uh, Sunday morning with a targeted uh, berthing time of uh, just about 6.25 a.m. U.S. Central Time. All uh, parameters on the Cygnus are, go are in uh, excellent shape. Uh, the vehicle has uh, uh, performed a number of uh, of tests on its way to the station over the course of the several days, including so far a uh, position and attitude control test, a free drift test, and an active abort demonstration. All of those uh, uh, proves the navigation of the uh, spacecraft using a global positioning system and uh, also uh, uh, puts it in uh, uh, good shape to uh, support that rendezvous activity. Over the course of the next uh, several days, a continued series of rendezvous maneuvers will take place using thrusters on the, on the cargo vehicle uh, before it arrives at the station in the wee hours on Sunday. Uh, so the crew on board uh, is also getting ready for its arrival um, with an installation of the uh, uh, robotic workstation uh, uh, software to uh, follow along and be ready for the uh, robotic capture that will be uh, handled uh, primarily by uh, Luca Parmitano aboard the station. Uh, so the crew uh, obviously staying very busy on board and uh, greatly anticipating the arrival of that uh, new cargo vehicle, the first ever uh, space station mission launched from the coast of Virginia at the Wallops Flight Facility.